version of the Riley Wand, the handheld electronic voice release system developed for use on the skeet field. If for some reason the referee wants to manually release a target while the wand is in the voice release mode, he can do so by merely pushing the same button the second time. Simply hold down the high and low house buttons at the same time for five seconds and you have converted it to manual. You merely hold down the high house button and the doubles button at the same time for five seconds and then it's back in the voice release mode. Let's take a look at how to use it on the skeet field. First of all, let's talk about where the referee would stand. So they will strain as they, as they bend over and try to get the wand in position, but this will wear the referee out. Step closer to the shooter, position it correctly, and then the shooter will call for the bird. Oh. Oh. See on a left-handed shooter, Rayburn's on his left-hand oh. side. We'll pick up the shooter's call if it's placed correctly. Call that in the slot. Keeping score with the wand is something that, of course, referees have to deal with. Rayburn keeps the clipboard in his left hand, writing the score down. And notice how Rayburn holds the cord with his left hand as he pulls the cord from station to station. Now, as they go to seven, He'll set up just like station one. He won't be back up against the, the house so that the shooter can get behind Rayburn. Of course, from station seven, the uh, wand must come around the left-hand side for the right-hand shooter also, but no problem. Keeping the wand low out of the shooter's vision, yet close, is the key. So there it is, your technique to go back and forth on doubles from three, four, and five. Notice he's staying out of the shooter's way with the wand. Uh -oh. If you have any questions about the Briley wand or its operation, give them a call at 1-800-331-5718 or visit them at briley.com.